Hello, it's Monica from eDark. Picking the right camera settings is crucial for great visualizations. Today, I will discuss the most important settings like field of view, perspective, camera height, and even more. These settings can boost or negatively impact on your results. Let's start and improve your visualizations. In this small bathroom, I will set up the camera. To keep things organized, I've used tags for the model. Let's hide ceiling for a second to check what's inside the bathroom. Now, let's create a view. For small spaces like this bathroom, using a section is the best way. So, I click on the section tool and place it on the wall. Click on the wall and confirm. Use the Move tool to position the section plane accurately. Let's set up the view. It's a good idea to right-click here at the top bar and check sections. Having these additional tools, I can hide the section plane. After placing the section plane, always go to Section Settings. Ensure to uncheck Affect Light and check Camera Rays only. This keeps outside light from getting in and the section remains unseen in the mirror's reflection. Then go to Settings, open the Render Output tab and turn on Save Frame. Those darker areas will not appear in the final render. Try different aspect ratios to find the best view. For narrow spaces, go for a square or portrait ratio. I choose 4 to 5. Now I adjust the view. Let's pay attention to a very important camera setting, the field of view. Go to the camera tab and select field of view or click on the icon on the left side. Avoid extremes in values. If the field of view is set too high, like 110 degrees, the view becomes distorted, making the bathroom look weird. If I set the field of view too low, like 27 degrees, the scene improves, but there is no depth. Aim for 40 to 60 degrees. I pick something around 45 degrees, which looks great. To adjust the view, I use the zoom and pan tool. Clicking on Look Around changes the eye height, showing a different perspective. I usually position the eye level in front of the main objects in the scene for a more natural look. Now let's set up two-point perspective. This straightens the image and makes vertical lines straight, reducing the third-point perspective. Before activating this, ensure that your view isn't too distorted. Let's see that vertical lines will be parallel, but the view looks weird. It's better to first adjust the view where vertical lines are nearly straight and then enable two-point perspective. This small twig will not disrupt your view. After adjusting the view, save the scene. Go to Scene window on the right and click the plus icon to create a new view. Now you can render the scene. The visualization is done and it looks great. Proper perspective enhances the visualization, especially in a small, narrow bathroom. Let's create a second view. To do this, I need another section to remove the second wall. To make a second section, I unhide the section and wall. Then select everything in the scene. I create a group. I open it, click twice on the section plane to activate it, and I close the group. The first section stays active, and I create a second section. Now both sections are active, making it easier to set up an interesting view. I use Zoom and Pan tool to adjust the view. Check the field of view and set two-point perspective. When it's done, I create a new scene very quickly by right-clicking on Scene 1 and choosing Add. Before rendering, go to Asset Editor, Select the Geometry tab, uncheck Affect Light in the new section and check Camera Rays only. Now it's time to render the scene. The render looks great, showing the small bathroom in a very natural and realistic way. Let's create a third view. To do this, I will make another section plane. I display section planes and unhide all the walls. 
Then I select all elements and create a new group. I open the group to activate section planes, close the group and create the next section. I place it on the ceiling and move down. After hiding section planes, we can set the view. This view is a bit complex, showing sections and the surrounding of the building. For more control over the render, I will create a dome line. I will upload HDRI map, adjust the intensity, and ensure it's invisible in the dome light options. In the scene, I don't use sunlight. Next, in the render settings, I clear the background texture slot. I change the background color to white and set the intensity to 100. For better light control in post-production, I create light mix render elements by clicking on Create Assets and selecting Light Mix Render Element. Then, in the Geometry tab, I click on the New Section option and uncheck Affect Light and check Camera Rays only. Now, let's render the scene. I can adjust wall darkness by changing the dome light intensity. Also, tweaking the environment can darken or brighten the surrounding. And there you have it. Three very interesting views. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org. You will find there are many V-Ray for SketchUp courses, free assets, articles, and more. See you there. Bye.